the owner made a mistake in buying a new battery before he did a test. He could have done a simple test. Uh, you're going to need a volt ohm meter. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. You can get one for under $20. But what you want to do is charge the battery up if the battery's gone dead. And with the engine running, you want to put the contact points between the posts on the battery. Red to positive, black to negative. And you want to read the voltage. And when this car came in, you know, I told the owner, I says, okay, when you go to pick it up, don't just jump it and expect to drive it here because if you jump it, it's going to just quit again. I said, go over there with a fully charged battery, put the battery in the car, then drive it here to the shop. And he did that. And of course, I started up, got the voltmeter out and <laughs> put the contacts on the posts. And guess what? I was reading 11.9 volts. So I was reading battery voltage. And if that's the case, that tells you that the alternator's not putting out. Now, I should have been getting a reading anywhere from, you know, 13.5 to a little over 14 volts, indicating I was getting a good charge from the alternator. If this happens to you, do that test before you run out and buy a new battery. Now, obviously, if your battery is over four years old, over five years old, you might want to get a new battery anyway, because sometimes the combination of a weak alternator, a worn regulator, and a really old battery really accelerate the problem. So I'm not saying don't change your battery, but if it's a recent battery, you know, within the last few years, do that test with the engine running to make sure you're getting alternator output. If you're not really familiar with this whole procedure testing, most auto parts stores will test your charging circuit for you out in the parking lot. So you're not throwing money at parts you, you really don't need. Okay, after replacing that voltage regulator, let's check the output of the alternator now. I've set this to volts. We're going to put the black on the negative, the red on the positive, and take a look. Look at that. 13.9697, so it's almost 14 volts. That's great. We've repaired this alternator, and it didn't cost very much money at all.